The left is crazed about abortion. I mean, they not only want abortion to be legal throughout the nine months of pregnancy, now they're defending politicians who talk about allowing babies to be killed after the ninth, after they're born. So uh, speaking of justice and accountability, we need some over for over on the Hill here, don't you think? Did you see that video of Senator Schumer threatening witnesses? You were a witness to a crime, it looks like. Senator, Senator Schumer was, uh, there was a big hearing, Supreme Court oral argument this week on really a modest abortion law related issue. Louisiana set up a law that requires uh, uh, doctors who commit abortions uh, to have admitting privileges in a hospital. Common sense public health safety law. And so rather than women, quote, challenging this, you had the abortion industry challenging this, which was the basis for our amicus briefs with the court. But the left is crazed about abortion. I mean, they not only want abortion to be legal throughout the nine months of pregnancy, now they're defending politicians who talk about allowing babies to be killed after the ninth after they're born. So uh, in this case, it doesn't prevent any abortions at all. It just actually increases the safety of women seeking abortions. So, but ideology is, is key here. So that's common sense, science, and biology takes a back seat. So abortion is a major animating issue for the left. In many ways, so many of our public policy fights in Washington are often about issues, are not about the issues that they presumably are about given the nature of the fight. For instance, the issue of uh, you know, impeaching uh, President Trump, it wasn't about anything Trump did wrong. It was about a whole host of other issues behind it, including taking him out and making it difficult for him to appoint Supreme Court justices because they're nervous about the abortion right, which currently allows women to kill babies, unborn human beings, throughout the entire nine months of pregnancy if they can get a doctor to do it. That's the law. You didn't vote on it. The Supreme Court mandated it. And they're obsessed with making sure that never changes, either through a, a judicial re removal of that law or by, in the meantime, allowing states to modestly uh, increase the protections for unborn human beings. So the left had a giant, giant rally outside the Supreme Court, um, which I don't know what the purpose of it is, because is the Supreme Court supposed to decide based on the law or what people are screaming outside its portal? Schumer said, or actually screamed, I want to tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind and will pay the price. You won't know what hit you if you go forward with these awful decisions. Can you believe that? Threatening two Supreme Court justices? You will pay the price. You won't know what hit you. You will pay the price. You won't know what hit you. If I had said that, I'd have two U.S. Marshals in my office, or frankly, probably in my home, in the least questioning me, questioning my family, questioning everyone here at Judicial Watch, anyone else I had talked to, about that threat on the Supreme Court. Justice Roberts responded, rightly so, said that type of language is dangerous. Dangerous. Of course it is. And the left has suggested Trump has said something similar. He's never said anything similar. You can criticize. You could change this language around quite easily to make it acceptable. You will pay the price in history. The American people will, will criticize you for not protecting their abortion rights. All sorts of things you could say that, that, you, that is a fair exercise of your First Amendment rights. 
but you don't have the right to threaten another person with violence. And you being a senator is no excuse. And you're not exempt from the law. At least you ought not to be. What are the laws at issue here? Landmark Legal Foundation, our friends um, over there, they filed a quick ethics complaint against Schumer on this. They cited the laws. 18 U.S.C., Section 875C, Interstate Communication, Containing a Threat of Injury. 18 U.S.C., Section 1503A, Threats of Force in an Effort to Intimidate an Officer of the Court. In the least, you could have a conspiracy claim. All sorts of criminal complaints could be filed against you here. If I were Gorsuch, if I were Kavanaugh, I'd walk over to the Washington Field Office of the FBI, and I'd file a criminal complaint against Schumer. What's going to happen in the Senate? I bet you nothing. There are 15 senators, maybe, that want to censure him. But unless they hear from you, the Senate, they won't do Jack. Am I allowed to say Jack? Is that a bad word? I don't know. My colleagues are laughing at me. Because I, I, never, I never say bad words on TV. I don't think I do. But isn't that outrageous? I tell you, you know, this coup was never just about Trump. They're trying to destroy every single one of our institutions. The left hates our Constitution. They hate any restrictions on their ability to obtain and retain power. And they will pretty much say or do anything. The Constitution, the rule of law, crime, criminal laws, all of that. They don't care. Schumer's spokesman immediately starts lying about what he said. Oh, he wasn't talking threatening the judges. He was talking about a political price to senators. I read this to you. We're not taking anything out of context here. Schumer gets on the floor of the Senate because there's all this criticism. He doesn't really apologize and says, I would never make a threat. Well, he just did make a threat. What do you think ought to be done? Well, you should call your senator. He should be expelled. That's what I would do if I were a senator. I was, why is this man in the Senate after threatening violence on Supreme Court justices, encouraging violence on Supreme Court justices to get a result in a case that he has an interest in. I mean, they're talking about censuring him. That's the least they can be doing. Where's the Justice Department? Where is the U.S. Marshal Service? Marshals protect the courts, protect the justices. You go into a court, federal courthouse, security is extreme. These courts are under constant threat. They're putting bad guys away in a direct way, confronting these bad guys in person. Security is paramount. Call your senators. Let them know what you think about what Senator Schumer said. Because if you don't, you're not, too, you're not really in a position to complain about any inaction that follows. Call them at 202-225-3121. That's 202-225-3121. If you're not sure who your senator is, you know, and I'm not one of these arrogant leftists who will criticize you for not knowing who your senators are because a lot of your senators are basically non-entities, practically speaking, so it's not surprising if you don't know who they are to me. But look them up, call them. You can call them directly if you go online these days. I don't need to tell you how to find someone out online. Call them up and let them know what you think. And I don't know what the Justice Department's doing, but they need to be investigating Senator Schumer over this. And if I were the president, I would direct the Justice Department, I would direct the U.S. Marshals to criminally investigate what Schumer said and come back to me 
as president with recommendations as to whether to prosecute him or not. And then as president, if I were President Trump, I would say, I will make the final decision as to whether this man is prosecuted. I'm the president of the United States. The Constitution puts that power on me. And I'm going to make this decision. It's that important. That's what I would do. So I encourage the president to do that, too. Give the White House a call, 202-456-1414, 202-456-1414. There's got to be some justice here. There's an ethics complaint by the Landmark Legal Foundation, which is great. But the ethics process in the Senate's broken. We, we had, who did we have? Uh, who's the um, Spartacus senator? Who was Spartacus? Oh, Senator Booker. He admitted he violated Senate rules in trying to destroy Kavanaugh. He admitted to violating the rules in releasing confidential documents improperly. We filed an ethics complaint. They didn't want to pursue it. In the Kavanaugh confirmation, the Justice Department had material referred to them for prosecution over the lies and smears and conspiracies against Kavanaugh that were illegal. What's the Justice Department done on that? Nothing. This is why the president has got to start exercising his prerogatives as president to enforce the rule of law. He can't rely on the Justice Department to do it. And it doesn't mean that Barr is a bad guy or he doesn't want to do anything. It's just institutionally, it's just been, it's so far fallen, they can't do the basics. As I said, the coup is, goes after Trump. They go after the president. You had the House abused by Schiff and Pelosi. They threatened the Senate. Now we've got senators from the left threatening the Supreme Court. And we're all supposed to just move on, right? Schumer is a, oh, it was a two-day story, and we're supposed to move on from the criminality. Judicial Watch isn't going to move on, and I hope that you don't move on. And I hope you let your members of Congress know you don't want them to move on. I mean, we had the president impeached on a fraud. When did it happen? It's like a month out. No one talks about it. Joe Biden is, of course, the, the, key, the key element of that was to protect Joe Biden. As I said, there's always a million reasons, not the one they're saying they're impeaching him on. There's always a million reasons. There's always something else behind what you see publicly stated in D.C. policy or controversies. It was to protect Biden. So it's a month later, Biden is on a track to become the nominee for the Democratic Party for president. It's not guaranteed. He still has a big fight with Sanders. Where's the corruption investigation of Biden? Effectively frozen. Effectively frozen. Judicial Watch has lawsuits that we're pursuing. We didn't give up. We're not moving on. And we're not going to move on from Schumer. We're not going to move on from Schiff. We haven't moved on from Hillary Clinton. We even haven't moved on from Benghazi, dare I say it. Am I allowed to talk about four Americans murdered and their cover-up of that death and the cover-up of those deaths to help Barack Obama get back in office? We're not going to move on from Spygate. Our country's at stake. Our republic is tottering, as I've been saying. So forgive me for getting a little heated here. These are grave attacks on our constitutional republic. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video down below.